Welcome to the last part of our Shadowcatcher tutorial. Uh, I've prepared a new scene. It's basically some warehouse. Uh, it's from AGR Maps. I've did. I've created some some uh, standing geometry for the wall and ground of the of the warehouse. We get also one uh, CG torus and of course our car. So uh, this is our render. And right now I'm going to be talking about illuminators. So. Let's say we want uh, our car to cast some light in into the scene. Uh, I've already created lights. I will unhide them right now. And as you can see, they are just standard corner lights with some sort of IES profile, nothing special. And if we were to just render the scene as it is, uh, obviously we would expect uh, the light kind of uh, work out of the box but as you can see there's something a bit weird going on there's like no no lighting no light hitting the floor we we do not see any any light on the any of the shadow catcher objects just on the cg object and you can also see we got this weird dark shadow here as if we actually subtracted some light out of the scene which which shouldn't be happening the thing here is uh, Shadow Catcher is not that intelligent to to automatically determine which lights were in the scene uh, when you were taking when you were capturing the scene, the HDR map and the backplate, and which are which uh, are the lights that have been added in the scene right now as a CG object. So basically, we need to differ between though these two light types. If if it's a light that was uh, there. Uh, when we were capturing the scene, then that's the regular light. If it's the light that we are adding to the scene with our CG object, let's say we are we have a footage of a street and we are adding some robot walking through the street and that robot has some lights, then those are added lights. They were not there when we were, we, when we were capturing the scene. And those lights that are added after after we captured our scene, those are called illuminators. So to make light an illuminator, all you got to do is just uh, go to the light and click this Shadow Catcher Illuminator checkbox. Also, this checkbox is present in a Corona Light material. So if you, if I get Corona Light material, you can see there is Shadow Catcher Illuminator checkbox as well. So once we do that, it happened for both lights as they are instanced and we render again. Now we can see exactly what we would expect. We have lighting on the hitting the ground. We are illuminating our uh, CG object, and the CG object is also casting shadows on onto the onto the uh, wall. But you can see uh, it basically the illumination uh, in the shadow remains the remains what it was before. We did not subtract any light. We are just adding a new light in the scene so you can see the light is shining through the torus knot and everything looks exactly as as we would expect so just it's really it's really simple simple to decide whether you need to use uh, illuminator or not if it's the light source that is already there that was already there when you were capturing the backplate and the hdri then you don't use uh, illuminators if it's an added light then you will use illuminators uh, so that's it uh, and that basically wraps up all of the shadow catcher tutorials so i hope you found it useful and see you next time goodbye